would just hope to see a lot more peace with in our like hip hop community. Yeah. So it'd be like I'd rather hear these guys are just like making records together. And if they were like I some part of me sometimes I'll be like chilling. Mm. And I'll be like, I can't believe these kids all have beef. And this is the time and age where like I can't believe it. Like I don't yeah. even like I can't it doesn't it get, kind of baffles me a bit because when we were coming up, you would see a scar you would see in like a ghetto concept video you'd see man from scarborough i remember that Look at too much remix family. too much remix. people were from everywhere on everywhere that. on that remix yeah. right we don't even have that here guys we don't have something where like it's all the man them on a record top guys and they had record. unity in their hood because like the, and, and that you mentioned like um ghetto yeah. concept right yeah that too much remix they had Jellystone and the next man there who was in a wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. It's Red Ants. Right? Red Ants. Shout out Red Ants. You already know Social Chairman. Ants, Chairman. Right? You so, know. right there, that showed even unity within in, the Rex. In the Rex. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, you get what I mean. And the shows back in the days that we used to do, right, like to be a point blank hustle man, all the different people in attendance. Yep. Sometimes it couldn't go down because the boy didn't, didn't want certain crews there. Yes. But it wasn't because we couldn't be around, around each, each other. other. It was just because the issues that the crews had in their hoods. Yes. That led back to those shows. Like, it, like they knew they were going there that night because yeah, of promoting We're it. investigating that crew so we don't want you to perform. But it wasn't yeah. like, oh, because these ne- next, next niggas nah, is over there, it's going to be a shootout. That no. was never an issue when I was going around with Empire. You no, know what I'm saying? Nope. Never. Like that's why we're saying like it's crazy because flip the ears, flip everything. Then mm-hmm. flip everything, make it us, you guys. You guys would see we'd be killing it. Oh my god! Imagine Toronto would be crazier. We had what we had back then, right? Salute it, to Freddie Fame, right? Yeah, yeah. Him being able, like the amount of show that he put down, put down. that had like a lot Even of like Chris up got in, rocks with big Chris ticket. got rocks, right? Like where people were able to come together and do the shows, and yep. they were local acts that everybody was fucking with, with and right? new. So now. Fast forward that to now yeah. with those with that vibe, yeah, we get to see Doovie in Toronto, yeah. right? Because I seen somebody mention Doovie in the comments here. We'll get to that. We'll get um, to that. Little Moose, Doovie, we see performing. We'd be able to see the Crook on stage, yeah. Um, maybe so, um, Black of the Dawn, yeah. Um, and Moolah in one venue. In one venue, but you guys can't do that. No, hell no. So when you guys can do that, that's when. All the money is opened up for you guys. You guys don't even know. The labels are there to give you guys all the money. Bro, you gotta all understand. The money. People in seats know. pay money. Money. Right? So imagine now, like, you have that along with the amount of streams that these guys are already able to accumulate see, off of YouTube. See, they're going to base it off of the rolling. Um, They're going to base it off of rolling loud. Yeah. The one time. We're talking about. I know it sounds like, oh, these guys are old school. But no. I'm talking about even in 2015. You can still hold a show. Yes. And all these guys. Yeah, Cartier are, was performing in Toronto. In Toronto. Um, Come Down Crew was get, doing yep, bear get shows. Get home safe. Get home yeah, safe. Yeah, they were doing bear shows in Kensington. In Kensington. Packing out the place. Packing it up. Derek yeah. Wise and all those guys. So you got to understand. And other crews, mm-hmm. too, coming down. um, Like, literally. So you got to understand, like, those guys were making money. Those guys were breakthrough artists. Yeah. And it, they got way more visibility to the labels because they could actually show the labels Yo. videos, tapes of their live, live shows, shows. And people going crazy, crazy in front of them. So the, now the label's like, how could we get in on this? Exactly. They and to- remember, all of the men's got signed. That exactly. Not all of their deals are the greatest deals, but nope. they all got well, signed at some point. They all point. got signed at some point. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that, that was a that was the level where you could have all crews in one place mm-hmm. at one time. When that was we, the last time that you could do last that. time. And if and like now for now. For now. For now. Let's say for now. Because for now. I don't want to say the no, I don't want to jinx it. No, I it's not. Like it's gonna come back it, it, yo, from when there's when I see a select few artists can be in the same goddamn room together and like doing shows. And having the same record together and then coming out and doing the same record, lit. That's when it's over. That's when Toronto has just opened up the gates yeah. of hell. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to run the game because yeah. now now you guys just capitalized on your underground game. Yeah. And also, like, even I want to salute Black of the Dawn. Oh, I want to salute the sponsors here quick, fast. Yep. Salute to Astro Pink. Hit them up. If you know, you, no, know. you know. Check them out on their website, myastropink.com, or on their Instagram, astro underscore pink scene but mm-hmm. uh, i want to big up black of the dawn because he he achieved that to a degree yeah. mind you 
that was 2018 still. <laughs> yeah. So, I, um, let it breathe. You're, you're still right. Still he right. He did a showcase over at Lee's Palace. Yeah. Okay. It was him. LB Spiffy uh, yep. performed. Uh, the 365 crew was in attendance. They performed. Um, there was somebody else. I think Smiley might have popped up on the stage on that show at that Possibly. time, too, before he got signed and shit Possibly. like that. But, like, he was able to get a bunch of different guys. Oh, niggas. Like, we were, we smoked out Lee's Palace. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. And, like, he put all the mans on the stage together, and then he did his show at the end and crushed, crushed it. it. Right? Great stage But he performer. did it. And it went off. No problems. Like, I think he had to hire extra boy them or whatever, the, whatever requirements, it. but he did it and he proved like we all went home safe. It was yep. a beautiful fucking night, fam. Mm. Salute to Blacker for that. I've I never seen it happen again since that, eh? Exactly. Uh. Like, all them hood artists, fam. Mm. Hood, like, fam. All ah. of the niggas that were on that stage came from GTA housing, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time, um, what top five had a show at the Rivoli? Okay, who else was on it? Pump Stretch, mm -hmm. Cali Ice. Okay. Um, I was on it. Okay. Who else was on it? There was a lot of oh, Blacko was on it. Mm. Blacko, <laughs> Blacko was on it. Mm -hmm. Um. Fuck, I could go to my phone right now. I think I still have the poster to this day. Yeah. But there was a lot of random artists on this show. Let's put it that way. Okay. Put it G that way. Gems at Life Live says Nia put on a huge show over at the Opera House. Everybody's done that. But what, who was on it? It was like hood, hood niggas. Because like, there's one thing to put like safe artists. And I don't want to say safe like they're like they. All artists are safe. But I'm saying like artists that don't have like a reputation and and like don't have like a whole hood shit and are rapping about hood shit. That's what I think Toronto's fucking afraid of, right? Like, but there's nothing to be scared of. It's just that can you put them in one? Just they gotta learn how to now get in one room and put, talk that hood shit all in one room and love it, and everybody know word for word everybody's yes. shit. Like, okay, imagine like when Biz Loco was home, he was able to perform. Like he performed. Yeah, but like he was able to perform, and then this person and that person and this person, like Casper is on the same bill. This other person, all these guys are all on the same, same bill, bill together weekly. Like one, now you have to get a bigger venue because each if each one of them can bring at least two hundred people, <laughs> a six hundred people venue is not going to be enough if there's four big acts on the venue. And that is how you see. If you wanted to say American culture, that's how the American rap culture did it. They would have. They, they'd have all their home they'd have all their boroughs mm -hmm. they'd have guys from the boroughs on these shows yeah. we all go to the tunnel everybody's in the tunnel at the same time mm -hmm. yo and who comes out alive comes out alive but it's <laughs> yeah. like but it was just like everybody knew each other and everybody was family and like and that's how it was you had the circle back in the day you had a lot of crews back in the day mm. and they were all down with each other bro down from down to even like the break dancing crews and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But with Bag those guys, I'll also g give them that that yeah. they weren't not that they weren't from the hood, but them niggas wasn't pushing that that line that 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 I'm gonna shoot you in the face. If yeah, you but fuck those guys, but man, you know that, that's a different generation. They were more low key about it, dog. You don't know if a man was were doing certain things. Come on, dog. These were different times. Like, come on, fam. Like, yeah. The like, kids have, the kids Chuck have Claire to, was like a school teacher before. No, well, Chuck Claire's not. <laughs> not but, no disrespect. That's a, no, that's a, it's not a bad thing to be. It's not a bad thing but to like, be. I feel like after and getting. And but do you see all, now the longevity of it, though? Oh, of course. Because then you can stick to something. Yeah. For somebody to go to school and become a teacher. Right now, he doesn't want to be a teacher anymore, but he's like, fuck, I think I could do this rap shit. Yeah. It still takes time to do rap. It still takes time to do music. Yeah. But right? there was a space of time. Yeah. In the early 2000s, I felt like Toronto got really hood. Like it, it was, maybe late 90s, it was there too. No, but, but 2000s, early 2000s, all of the hood. hood crews just started emerging, fam. Yeah. And there were crews. Yeah, it wasn't like 
the one rapper. It was the one rapper and like their whole hood behind them. You know what I'm Bro. saying? Bare long tees yeah. and, and fucking hats, hats, hats and right? Motherfucker. But it was always a bunch because we'd see the niggas <laughs> in the music videos in the states and they'd have mad niggas in their videos. Yeah. So we're like, okay, us two. You gotta emulate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So like, even when I was doing videos, I, I yeah. want to call as enough as much as demand them as I can. can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like you had to show that like. Remember, Real Toronto came out, and all those videos where we're like, "No, you watch our hood. Look how you many niggas we got that represent us." You know what I'm saying? Those times, you guys. Yeah. I was, I was after you guys, and that was crazy. I think me. that's when Toronto's music scene got super <laughs> hood, fam. That's crazy when niggas hood. was rapping about the bodies and the fucking things they've been started catching, <laughs> and that evolved to where we are now. Yes, you yes. know what I'm saying? Where it became, we, so mans were drilling from before. <laughs> What? <laughs> Mads were drilling from long time, dog. Yo, fam, I, I've had, like, this this songs that, um, that's the to- topic that I need to we need to put in the Pinterest board that we need to bring up tonight. Okay. Um, the Nessia topic. Okay. Salute to Nessia. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Salute. But I've had songs before hers where people were dissing me when same, I was still a here. rapper. Same here. Me too. Right? Oh, man. And this is in the hood times when, when yeah. niggas would diss you, diss you to... Be like, yo, when I see shots to your head. You're thinking, yo, bro, it's okay. over. Make sure I have my thing on me if I see this guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it wasn't like, oh, I'm a better rapper than you. It was no, like, it's like, you're oh. a bitch, you're a pussy. You know what I mean? I'm a spin on you. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't like, these oh, niggas are new to man. this type of shit. Fam. Oh, I have man. bars where I'm threatening non-rappers. <laughs> not even rap niggas niggas who are not rappers who i'm like yo bitch when i see you on road it's like it's a thing it's done you know what i'm saying on doggy i wasn't like a non-hood rapper i have a lot of gun bars man. <laughs> <laughs> you know shooting it up you know what, I'm saying? Track, you know what i mean stabbing track, bars yeah track one <laughs> busting his gat track two still busting his gat track three busting his gat <laughs> yo i said and, and salute the cardinal official salute Yo, he blocked me though, but I don't know why. Mother. I gotta check if I'm blocked. <laughs> My second mixtape, the the Connect Volume Two, Song Whoa. Two. I said. This is when I was still salty in my times. Yeah. I said, fuck Carter now. When I see you, I'm going to body you. (laughs) That's a verbatim bar. That guy. (laughs) That's aggressive. Like, (laughs) and and he knows about that, doesn't he? I'll tell you a quick story how he does know about this. Yeah. I bumped into him on a, in an airport in the Pearson airport on the way to (laughs) New York city one time. Okay. And I just put the mixtape out. <laughs> yeah! Okay, so I, Man, I see him and he's like, see him, Doug. You know, he's on his way to New York to do some shit too. And I'm like, yeah. my name's Friday. Da, 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 da. He yeah. didn't know me at the time, right? Yeah. I gave him the mixtape like an idiot, right? Yeah. And and yeah. salute to the homegirl, pretty. She was on the cover, um, naked, covering her covering her nipples with a with the bud, and she had a half pound of fucking real it was china bud but she had yeah. <laughs> half pound of bud so that was a real cover that wasn't a google yeah. pick okay? yeah um see that's what we had to do we had to do real covers back in yeah, the day yeah, and shit. To, the shit out of myself back yeah then. but we had to get fucking creative right so then boom song two is i guess he put it in his disc player yeah and song two i'm saying fuck F- carter now when oh. i see you i'm gonna body you oh right? like, no. and that was the last bar on the on the 16 bur- on the 16 bars so that's how I ended the verse. Cardi. Right? Just aggressive old um, Young Sorry, Friday. Sorry, yo, for this guy. <laughs> he, I've had an interview with him since then, I right? know, I know. <laughs> did you let him know that? You know, what what that? happened was... Oh, my gosh. Now I get on the plane, right? We're, yeah. we're all waiting, waiting. I get on the plane now. Yeah. And him and Solid, And I'm already seated. And him and Solitaire now are getting on the plane. Yeah. And, like... It, the energy was different now. Now he just walked right past me. Didn't even say nothing to me. <laughs> Didn't give me a head nod. Nothing. nothing. He got the track two while we were waiting for the fucking plane. Wow. And he was like. Wow. He probably was like this looking guy, over at me. Like, like this guy. Why are you me? <laughs> what? You going to do what? <laughs> hey, yo, you come near me. Yeah, <laughs> the next time I seen him was a few months later in front of a club. Yeah. And the way that he greeted me was like, Mr. Friday. Wow. And then from there, I realized now he knows me. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that, that's sometimes I have to get their attention. Back in the day, you had to do some work. But fam, like. Now you just go online and be like, fuck that nigga. <laughs> if like, he was a fuck boy, he could have took that to the boy and be like, he said right there on bar 16, nah, he's going to body me. 
Nah, that man. means kill in street language. Nah, <laughs> like, <nah. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cardiac. But cardiac. He, he was thorough. He, yeah. I'm, I'm still alive. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still around. 